so today i am going to discuss the fourth problem of at quarter beginner contest so uh, which is a two variable function so uh, we are given an integer n we have to find the smallest integer x uh, which is greater than or equal to n and we have to find uh, x such that x satisfies this equation for any positive integers uh, like non negative integers a and b so what is the function like the <coughs> function is uh, f of a comma b uh, is, is equal to what is equal to a cube plus b cube plus a square b plus a into b squared so uh, what is the uh, important observation we can make is that the, uh, the we have to minimize the value of this is x f of a comma b is equals to x now we have to minimize the value of x so x should be greater than equals to n x should be greater than equals to n the first important point and the second important point I want to make is that f of a comma b is an increasing function. So this is an increasing function. That is the another important point we can make. And the third important observation of what I uh, want to make is that. Uh, so the third point, the maximum value of x. So what is the maximum value of x? The maximum value of x is 10 to the power 18. So why is that? Why is the maximum value of uh, x is 10 to the power 18? So let us observe why. <clears throat> so uh, let's say the um, value of x is greater than equals to n, and our constant on n is 10 to the power 18. So n less than equals to 10 to the power 18. Now 10 to the power 18 satisfies this equation for a uh, satisfies this equation for a equal to 10 to the power 6 and b equals to 0. So so what we can take is that uh, any value like any value for for any value of n is could be at max 10 to the power 18 so the so what will be the range of n so the range of n is n belongs to in the range uh, square bracket uh, <coughs> sorry not n so x belongs to the range n comma 10 to the power 18 this is absolutely true and uh, what is the constant like what is the limit of a and b so the limit of a and b is 10 to the power 6 so why because uh, like if you can check if we take the value of uh, <coughs> a as 10 greater than 10 to the power 6 then the value of uh, x will be like the value of the function will be greater than 10 to the power 18 obviously because b cube plus a square b plus a b square will always be greater than 0 so uh, the and the value the constants on b the limit of b is also 0 to 10 to the 6 right so uh, the so on seeing the constants of a and b what uh, other observation we can make is that uh the second observation which we can make is that we can iterate on a so we can iterate on a so our complexity can be order of a or our complexity can be order of a log a okay so what i have did i have solved it with order of a log a where i have traversed on a so we have tra traversed on a and for every value of a i try to binary search on b so let's say why I am doing that? Let's say for any given value of a. So let's say a, a is fixed. Let's say a is a constant c. So any value of uh, a is when a is fixed, our a of uh, a b will become what? So our a of a b will become a of a comma b will become what? A of c comma b because c is constant. So which is c cube plus so c cube plus c squared into b plus c into b squared plus c into b squared plus b cube. So what uh, you can see is that this is a uh, polynomial function of b of degree 3 because c is a constant. So this is obviously an increasing function because the limit of b is from 0 to 20 to 6. So it, it, as if b is positive then our this is an increasing function and we can uh, binary search on the value of b. Okay, so if our uh, like uh, now <coughs> we will try to minimize the difference between let's say we, we, we trying to find the value of x. So let's say our value of x equals to p. Let's say uh, for any instance of a and b, let's say a is i and b is let's say j. So let's say a is i and b is j. And for this instance, the value of fx is p here. So the value of uh, f of a comma b. So f of i comma j, which is x at the point i comma j, which is equals to p. 
so we will try to minimize the difference between p minus n so p will always be greater than <coughs> n so this we can take this as bracket also not absolute difference uh, because uh, p is always greater than n so we will try to minimize the difference between p minus n so we will try to minimize the difference between p minus n and at the end if we add in with this difference we will get our desired answer so in plus minimum value of p minus n for all the values of i comma j will be our desired answer so i will show you my code now uh, and i will explain my code uh, line by line uh, here <coughs> you can see that uh, i am iterating over the value of a here i is a i could um, like we, uh, from the lower limit of a is 0 and the upper limit of a <coughs> i is cube root of n you can also take 1 is 6 it would not matter because order of e 1 is 6 log 1 is 6 will also pass so uh, here r is 1 is 6 you can also take uh, cube root of n here it will not matter much now uh, i am already calculating the value of c which uh, i think is unnecessary you can do it inside the loop also so uh, here i am trying to <coughs> binary search on the value of uh, b so here mid mid will be the value of b in the function uh, so we are calculating f of i comma mid where a is i and b is mid so uh, this is the value of the function fx if the value of the function is greater than equals to n so we can take this fx value as our uh, this, uh, one desired answer so we will uh, try to check if our fx minus n our difference between x minus n is minimum then uh, i will take the minimum as fx minus n and uh, i will go to the left part of the array this is common binary search i think you all will understand at the end we are adding answer with our n and uh, to get our desired answer i hope you have liked the video and understood the concept i have tried to ex explain in the video if you have any doubt regarding any part of the explanation or code you can ask in the comment section please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you